today on 30 Miles Out. Attack of the Killer Remora. You're watching 30 Miles Out. With your host, Ty Sutherland. Hey everybody, welcome back to 30 Miles Out, I'm Ty. Hey, I stumbled on some old footage I found from Fort Lauderdale last summer. It was too cool to not turn into an episode, so here you go, Lauderdale by the Sea. We were staying right by Anglin's Pier in Lauderdale by the Sea. Nobody wanted to get up with me, so I decided to yak out to the reef that was about half a mile offshore by myself. Hey, how you like those Scotty Rod mounts? My toes. Hey, this is scaled down, man. I didn't bring a lot for this trip. I just brought a few reels. I went to Walmart, bought some cheap rods when I got there. I went to the dollar store, bought some scissors and some old pliers. And I uh, brought some tackle and I brought my fish grips on the plane. And uh, the place we stayed had kayaks. I kept it real simple, and man, I was fishing, and that's all I cared about. I decided to troll out to the next buoy chain. They have ropes coming off some buoys. It's a mooring point for tying off with scuba divers. It's right over the reef. I knew I'd find something down there. Cut sardines and squid I got at the corner store. So I just hung a remora, a pilot fish. These are the things that stick to big sharks and whales and catch a free ride. They're a pretty good fight too. See that black pad on top of the head? That's the suction cup. That allows them to stick to the big whales and stuff. On a tropical reef, you never know what you're gonna catch. <laughs> Man, I thought this was a parrotfish. It could be in the parrotfish family, but I'm not sure. I've been looking them up and I can't find them. If anybody knows, comment below. I got these remoras all around me. These remoras were all over me. You know I gotta play with them. showed up in full force. They were everywhere. <laughs> Trying to film underwater, this rascal was bumping the camera to see if it was food. Look at him 
biting at the ball on my fish grip. Tasty one. The moors are on them. These yeah. rascals stayed with me for a long time. They were right next to me like I was a big floating object, like a big shark or a whale. They loved my yak. He broke my ugly stick. I'm gonna land his little remora booty anyway without the rod. So I just kept catching these little reef species and whatever showed up, you know, with my with my shrimp and my squid. And, uh, I just had a really good time for, for little to no money. I mean, it was just a family vacation that I decided to bring a few reels, my fish grips, a little bit of tackle. I picked up a couple of rods when I got there and it ended up being a great time. You can see the cooler bag I picked up from Walgreens in the boat, used an old backpack nothing special just made sure the place I went had a kayak and I was set hey man that remora been hitching a ride the whole time and he jetted out as soon as I dropped my bait in the water I didn't hang him this time though but I sure had fun catching pilot fish Rolling my way back to the beach. Bam! Get another hit on the rod. Lost it though. This Lauderdale by the sea area is beautiful. There's a reef that runs the beach for miles. It's an artificial reef. The water clear is incredible. The summer pattern is flat calm from daybreak to 10 a.m. every day. There's paddle boarders, scuba divers, and fishermen every morning. The waves pick up about 10 or 11. It's an awesome pattern. Look how slick. And it was like that every day. It wasn't until editing this video that I saw that Ramora was catching a free ride. Free lunch, free ride program they're on. Another rough day fishing. Miles on. The new 30 mile out gear is in buff shirts and stickers. Get yours at 30milesout.com. Use code word 30 miles out and get 10% off your entire purchase at kayakfishinggear.com. I sent Petey the corn snake out to get the newspaper and somebody ran him over. Don't go to the lake, Petey. Don't go.